Ministry of Just Transition and we are going to be going up to the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers office to invoice them for climate damages. CAP has spent decades misleading the public about the reality of climate change and over and above that, lobbying governments to water down their climate and environment uh, laws and, and policies. And these actions have uh, succeeded in delaying climate action and fueling the climate impacts which are affecting communities all across Canada and around the world. And all of this in an effort to protect their bottom line, which is considerable as you can see. It all comes down to accountability. So invoicing big oil for the damage they've created is the first step in that process. We are invoicing CAPP for a total of $6.8 billion, $65 million for a housing first strategy to reduce exposure to extreme weather, $1 million air conditioning units for low income households who are experiencing weeks long heat waves, $700 million for Atlantic Canadians to reimburse uninsured losses from Hurricane Fiona. 900 million for social services and health care for a climate related anxiety and depression. 3.1 billion for maintaining and repairing roadway damage. 1 billion to electrify school bus fleets across Canada. Alright, so unfortunately nobody's going to be in our office until Monday again. Okay. Um, so the suggestion is if you want to leave the invoice, you can try with security. We can't guarantee it. Now, as most of you have probably figured out by now, the Ministry of Just Transition isn't real. But it should be. It should be real. What is real, however, is the damages and the climate impacts caused by the fossil fuel industry. And we need to hold the fossil fuel industry accountable, and we need to make them pay.